Hello, I am Matt Seuss, and I am really excited today because I finally get to show off the brand new update to Luminar, Luminar Neptune. Now, Neptune is going to be available for everyone June 15th, 2017, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to play with a beta version of it for the past week or so. And let me tell you, there are some really cool things that have been improved inside of Luminar, so let's go ahead right away and start taking a look. So we are now inside Luminar Neptune, and what I want to show off first off is a brand new workspace. And if I click over here and click on Quick and Awesome, this workspace has three brand new filters. And here's something else that's new. Take a look at this. We have an Accent AI filter. This filter is really cool. Wait till you see what this thing can do. It has an amount slider, and that is it. Just start dragging that amount slider over. And look at what it's doing to this photo. It's brightening up the shadows. It's knocking down the highlights, increase some of the color to it. Let's take a look at this before and after on this. Look at that big difference with that one slider. So the Accent AI filter in Luminar. Now from MacFun, what they told me is that this uses artificial intelligence to analyze different areas of an image based on its structure, objects, dark and light zones, colors, and other parameters. As a user moves the slider, the filter intelligently and automatically understands what each area on the photo is lacking and improves it. Moving the slider can also adjust the intensity of changes, making the picture look more natural or revealing a more dramatic look depending on the desired effect. Now in practice, what I've been learning that this filter has been doing is that it seems to be adjusting the highlights, the shadows, tone, contrast, minimal color cast reduction. It definitely favors increasing saturation and darkening of the blues, and to a lesser extent yellows where it seems to brighten them slightly. And it also adds some detail as well. So this is a filter that, you know, it's not going to work on every single one of your photos, but I've been finding at least 75% of my photos, I can get some really good improvement with this one slider, this one filter. So let's take a look here at this quick and awesome workspace. So they designed this to really just be really quick and do an awesome job on your photos. Again, we have the three filters. We have an accent AI filter, saturation and vibrance. So if I bump up this uh, accent AI filter, I'm going to almost max that out. Maybe give just a little bit of saturation and a little bit of vi vibrance. And let's give it a little bit of clarity. And let's take a look at the before and after. Look at that. Pretty quick and pretty awesome. I love this uh, this new quick workspace here. Although, you know what? I think it can use one more filter, and this is one of my favorite filters, and that is the vignette filter. Let's take a look at the vignette filter. Now, if you notice on the vignette filter, we have a couple new settings on here, too. They've improved this filter. Let's show you exactly what's going on here. I'm going to lower the amount and lower the size so we can see exactly what's going on. We have a style and it's set right now defaulted for the highlights priority. This is the same style that the original Luminar was using. It never had a name for it though, but now it does. It's the highlights priority. And if you notice, if we go towards the edges, we can still see some bright areas of the photo. The highest, brightest parts of our photo still shine through this vignette. If we go to paint overlay, it's going to completely darken that up. So we have two options here now in the vignette style. Let me go back to highlights priority. So let's take a look at this. We have a mode post crop and pre crop. Let's take a look at what happens here when we have this set for pre crop. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to crop this photo and let's just give it a crop just like this, for instance, and I'm going to click on apply. Oh, before I do that, one other thing that they've improved here inside the crop tool is we can now enter custom ratios inside here. Okay, so let's go back here and click on Apply. Now, see what happened here? This is what traditionally happens with a vignette filter, is that when you do a crop after a vignette, you're going to end up cropping out part of that vignette. Now, if I switch the mode from pre-crop to post-crop, it's going to bring my vignette right back in. So you can do this anytime before or after you crop. You have the option of changing the vignette and the cropping in your photo. You also have an option of, this is new here, Play Center. So we can move that vignette off to the side. Okay, another thing I want to show you real quick here is we have this plugins icon over here. And check this out. We now have the ability to run Aurora HDR, Intensify, Tonality, Snap Heal, FX Photo Studio, Focus Pro, and Noiseless. All of the apps in the Creative Kit, we can now run those inside of Neptune as a plugin. This is really cool. Let's take a look here. I'm just going to bring this into tonality real quick, into the black and white. I know a lot of people like to use tonality for their black and white images. So I'm going to launch that plugin and we'll see tonality launch here in just a second. 
Okay, great. We are now inside of Tonality, running as a plugin inside of Luminar. I can do any changes that I want to. Uh, let's just click a quick preset here. And then notice up on top here, we have apply. If I click on apply, this is now going to send this back to Luminar. And what it's going to do, it's going to add it as a, as a layer on top of the original layer that I was working from. And we can see that right over here. Here is the Tonality layer right above our original layer. Now this plugin is going to work the same, bringing it into Noiseless, bringing it into Focus Pro. I know a lot of you like Snap Heal that has some extra controls that the eraser brush inside of Luminar doesn't have. So now you can bring it into Snap Heal as a plugin. And Aurora, I do want to mention one thing about bringing it into Aurora. When you bring it into Aurora, you're only bringing in a single image. You can't bring in a set of three images, let's say on a bracketed series of photos. You can't bring that into Aurora from Luminar. It's just restricted to a single image. Image. So you can bring it in and maybe grunge it up a little bit with some of the HDR filters that are available inside of Aurora and then send it back over here into Luminar. Now while we're at it, I did notice that they improved a couple filters in here too. And let me show you those. They improved the adjustable gradient and also the top and bottom filter too. I'm going to show you just the adjustable gradient here. If you notice over here, we have a button here to set orientation. Click on that button and now we can just click and move this around. Let me just uh, darken part of this down so we can see what's going on here. Adjust the feathering of that. We can spin it around, rotate it and do whatever we want. But now we have these controls over here. Prior to that, we had some sliders down at the very bottom and that's how we were able to adjust where the transition was and how soft and smooth that transition was going between the top and the bottom adjustments. Let me reset this filter and I'm just gonna talk about what else they've done inside of Luminar Neptune. A couple of things behind the scenes here. They've imp improved the memory management so we have faster performance for larger files and five and more simultaneously opened images. We also have some improvements to the brush gradient and radial gradient tools. Dramatically faster speed yields for more fluid editing. And another thing we have here too, we have a local history when you are inside the transform, the denoise, the clone and stamp, and the eraser tools. So if I just bring that up real quick here, I'll bring up the eraser. And once that loads, we'll see that there'll be a history thing right up on top here when we start making some adjustments. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick spot right here and then here is that history right up on top here. So this is while we are inside this tool separate from the history when we're working in the regular filters. Okay, well that was a real quick tour of the new features inside of Luminar Neptune. It's a free upgrade to everyone who has the current version of Luminar. If you don't have it, go over to MacFun's website and definitely check out a free trial. And, you know, hey, this is definitely a program that's worth it. $69 if you're a MacFun customer already. The program's $59. If you use coupon code MATTSUESS, M-A-T-T-S-U-E-S-S, -S, that'll save you 10% on Luminar and also on Aurora HDR as well. Now, if you want to see a longer video on this, why don't you head on over to Photo Joseph. I did a podcast recording with him the other day, and he's going to be releasing that today on June 15th. And it's about an hour long, and I go really in-depth in this whole in the whole new features of Luminar, the Neptune release, and actually in Luminar itself, too. So if you've never seen Luminar in action, definitely want to check that out. So you, want to, uh, you can either Google Photo Joseph. I'll have a link down here below. His website is photoapps.expert. And go on over there and take a look at the podcast that I recorded with him about an hour long. And lastly, I want to mention my photo training. I have a course on Luminar. It's a Mastering Luminar online photo course that's available in a streaming and downloadable version. If you go to learn.mattsuess.com, L-E-A-R-N dot M-A-T-T-S-U-E-S-S dot com. You'll find it over there and give that a check out. I have over 80 videos, almost eight hours worth of content, and I'll really get you up and running real fast with Luminar. And I'll have a free update to the course as well that covers this Luminar Neptune upgrade. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of the new Luminar Neptune upgrade. I think you're going to really like it. They got some really cool features here, and you know, they're still working on other things. They got a Windows version coming out later this year, so you Windows guys and gals that have been waiting for this for a long time, you're finally going to get a chance to play around with this on a Windows machine later this year. I think it's coming around in the fall. So I will see you again soon. Bye. All the programs, all the apps that were part of the creative kit we can now run those inside of leptune
all of the apps in the Creative Kit, we can now run those inside of Neptune. All of the apps in the Creative Kit, we can now run those inside of Leptune. Wow. 